What's going on guys, Mac Junkie here and welcome back to another video and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to use MSI Afterburner. Now this is a really cool app that uh, lets you see all of your GPU, CPU, RAM, all of that stuff up in your uh, top right, top left, bottom, middle, anywhere you want it to be on your screen you can have it and it basically it can show you your CPU temperature, your GPU temperature, the temperature of each individual CPU core, how much RAM you have, and a ton of other information, and you can all customize it with this great app. But before we get into the tutorial, guys, I would just like to thank you guys so much for 200 subscribers. We got from 100 to 200 subscribers very fast, and that's just so cool. And I'd also like to thank you guys how well, uh, you know, thank you guys for how well my uh, last video is doing about this uh, new laptop I got. Um, there's a ton of views on it already. It already almost has 2,000 views, and uh, all those comments on there are really nice. They're all telling me I did a great job, and I just want to let you guys know I appreciated that very much. And in that video, I had a few requests to do this tutorial, and I am very happy to do so. This is a great app. I don't know why I actually haven't done a tutorial in it already, because it is a pretty cool app, and it is a you know good thing to have if you want to know how hot your computer is getting while you game. So anyways, guys, to get this app, just simply go to Google or your browser of choice and simply type in MSI Afterburner. And if you want it um, in the description, I might have it. Oh, man, it's actually hard to talk and type. That's weird. I've actually never tried doing that. So again, guys, if you want this in the description, I can actually get it for you. If I remember, sometimes I'm kind of dumb and I forget to put those links in the description like I'm supposed to. But uh, if you type in MSI Afterburner, the first result should be Afterburner-MSI Gaming Series. Simply click on that. And when you go to this website, you're going to see all of this stuff. Simply go down here right underneath After Afterburner and click the Downloads tab right here. Click that Downloads tab and MSI Afterburner is right here. There's one for Android, Apple, a remote server, and then some other combustor thing but uh, basically you want to get this one right here so click download afterburner you will download a setup file and uh, once that setup file is downloaded simply open it install the app and then I'll show you how to use everything from there alright guys so once you've installed it simply go ahead and double click it to open it select yes to let it make its changes and when it pops up on your screen like this uh, it's gonna pop up here in a second maybe hello all right, guys, so uh, OBS was giving me some trouble there. As you saw, it actually wouldn't let me open the app. I actually did get it to open, but it was super laggy. It was going crazy. So I actually switched over to a, a different screen recorder. It's a free screen recorder. Uh, OBS is also free, but this one is a little bit lower quality. So uh, the frame rate's going to be a little bit lower, but on OBS, it was just completely unusably laggy, and I don't know why. That's probably just a little bug with OBS. But anyways, guys, go ahead and open up MSI Afterburner. Click yes, and once it opens, you will see this pop up. Now, for you guys, it will be different. This is my custom layout, or it's not my custom one. It's just a different option. You guys can choose which, you, which one you want from your settings, and uh, that doesn't affect what we're doing in this video because all you need to do is go to your settings tab and go to your general right here. And once you're in your generals tab, you just look here, look for synchronized settings for similar graphics processors, check that option. Also make sure that these top four options here are checked, and I, I, they probably are by default, I just want to make sure just in case they are, so check those, four, those top four options. Now go to monitoring, and you will see all of the things that you can put into your um, uh, on-screen display. So these are all the things you can put into your on-screen display, so I have my GPU on temperature, the GPU usage, my frame rate, my CPU core temperatures, and my uh, CPU usage and RAM usage. So basically, to add something to your on-screen display, so let's say I wanted to add GPU 1 FB usage. I would click on that, and then I would click on show an on-screen display. I would check that option right there, and then click OK. And I do that for all the different things that I wanted to show, but I don't want to have that in my on-screen display, so I keep it off. So then you just click OK, and once you click OK, uh, you might be thinking that you're ready to hop into a game and look, and that's what I actually thought. That's what a lot of people think, and that's why they think you know this program doesn't work sometimes. But um, you're not actually done yet. You have to set up a few more things. So basically, next, you're uh, also going to open another app that came with this app. It, it also installs another app into your little taskbar here called Revatune Statistics Server. Now, if it's not showing up here, then go ahead and search for it in your Windows search bar or find it in your uh, file explorer and put it in here. And once you do, just go ahead and open it up. And this is what you use to control your on-screen display. So you want to show your on-screen display, make sure that is turned on. Uh, you can have this off or on, start with Windows, that's up to you. Um, 
Also make sure that on-screen display support and make sure that is also turned on. And now after this, it's just my preferences. So you can you know follow these directions if you want to. Now on-screen display rendering mode, I like to have this as raster 3D. And I also like to have my font style as modern and my font style as regular. You can also search for modern, you can like search for uh, the font types. Cause I mean, look at these crazy font styles you can have. You can all have those crazy font styles. That's just, I mean, I don't know why you would, but I mean, hey, it's it's there if you want it. Now, also, you uh, next you can uh, also uh, change your uh, the color of what you're seeing. So basically, the text that shows up showing you all of the information about uh, your computer, you can change the color of it here. I like to have mine as bright green, and uh, the on-screen display zoom basically changes how big that text is. So I like to have mine at about right there. And uh, now, if you want to have it perfectly centered in the top left corner, you can simply type 10 into both of these boxes and click enter after typing uh, each one, and it'll put it like up there. But you can have it anywhere you want. As you can see, you could have it anywhere you wanted to. And so I like to have it up in that top corner, and again, you can just type 10, and then click enter, and then go to here and type 10, and then press enter, and there it goes up in that top left corner, not top right. I think I might have said top right. But anyways, guys, that's pretty much it. So after you're done, simply just click the X button and don't close MSI Afterburner. Just minimize that because that needs to stay running so it can show you all of your uh, information up there. So make sure that you minimize that. It'll live here in your taskbar, this little airplane and this little Revatune statistic thing. So anyways, guys, that's all for the video. If you guys did enjoy, please hit that like button. If you liked it a lot, subscribe as well. Uh, share this video with your friends if they are asking the same question. I mean, I mean, it's, it's not a really commonly asked question. I mean, I don't know. Do what you want. It's your life. But anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed and I'll I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.